Hey. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Angel. And I am filming on my laptop. I'm at a different different angle right now. I'm sitting on my bed. So we'll just get this a try. Um, I just want to um, chat for like 10 minutes because journaling? <laughs> uh, I haven't been feeling well um, the last couple of days and it sucks. I'm not working today. Um, I've just been in bed all morning. I'm trying to get out of bed and like be productive, but it's really hard. My place is messy. I don't have the energy. I did work yesterday and I was feeling like absolute poop. Like I was feeling lightheaded and dizzy and um, there was like a lot of stuff going on at work that day too or just this week in general um, so it was a lot to deal with that morning I thought about calling in sick but then as I was waking up I was starting to feel better and uh, my period started so I was gonna call in sick just because my period started like for some reason if I'm sick because of my period I just try to tough it out because it's gonna happen every month and like what I'm gonna call in sick every month but I don't know like I feel like it's getting to that point I mean I'm 35 so maybe um my hormones are changing and I have to like change with my body um, I already changed like my whole lifestyle to keep up with my body like I don't drink anymore and stuff like that I don't know why my period was rough this time around I don't know if it was like stress from work or um, you know stress from like current events like the climate change and the delta variant um, running rampant I want to take care of my body and I don't want to go back to my old habits so I'm doing my best to approach this um, in a healthy way it, my stomach still hurts and um, Actually, last week, now that I think of it, um, I remember telling my coworker that I thought I had COVID um, because I was feeling ill. And um, then I told him, well, let me just give it a couple of days because um, I knew I was also PMSing. It was, I had PMS and I was, my period was gonna come soon. I mean, is it normal for periods to get worse? Like, another thing I notice is I don't feel my cramps as much as I used to. Um, like, I just feel dizzy and lightheaded sometimes and nauseated. So, um, that's not fun. The night before, I woke up in the middle of the night and I felt really dizzy and I was dry heaving. Um, I didn't vomit, but I felt like I was going to vomit. And honestly, it felt like um, I was having a hangover or coming down off of like a night of drinking, if that makes sense. But um, I don't drink anymore, so it sucks that um, I feel that pain, <laughs> you know, because it's not, like, my fault. Like I mentioned I can't talk about, like, or work stuff, really, but I do know that um, I'm in a position where I can contract the virus easier than um, staying at home like before. So, um, there is a small chance.
I feel like the most important thing for me to do right now is to just rest and give my body the chance to heal and do its thing and just work at a steady pace because it could just be my period like when your home hormones are going crazy and stuff it's very easy to lose sight of what's um real or not <laughs> and um i i definitely feel foggy too and i'm trying not to feel paranoid i remember last year i thought i was going to die from covid for sure because i work in the hospitality industry and um people are getting infected so people that i am in contact with so it's only it, it would make sense if i do have it but i'm gonna wait a little bit longer and see how i'm feeling um i'm off tomorrow too so hopefully on saturday i'll feel 100 percent. and you know i did just get the pfizer vaccine so and it's a new vaccine and a new virus so maybe there are some after effects that don't show up until like months later and maybe like the whole thing with periods is true Whatever it is. I mean, I don't know. I think there is a conspiracy theory about, like, the vaccine affecting periods. But I don't know, like, the core details of that. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised. It could be a possibility. I mean, uh, a woman, women's hormones are pretty unpredictable. And... Um, the pain that we experience is something that like people don't understand <laughs> and even we play down on it play that play it down too um but when it's rough it's rough i just don't like this at all like it's affecting my work <laughs> and my daily living so hopefully it's it's not I mean, like I said before, if it's one of two things are going to get me either the vaccine or COVID. So I don't really have much to live for. So it's not even a big deal. <laughs> like I've been spending my money like crazy, <laughs> crazy. Like I'm not even really saving it. I'm just enjoying it because I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I don't know how climate change is going to affect my neighborhood and my life. Um, I don't know. When I was sick the week before, I know it was because of the smoke. And I don't know why I'm sick. It fucking sucks. Like, I wish I, I wish I knew what's happening and what's going on with me. But... I just have to take it day by day, make sure I rest, because it's more important that I rest when I, when my body needs me to than to, like, tough it out or whatever. What am I even saying? Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go, um, I'll make another clip soon. Hopefully this will make it in... A video blog or something. <laughs> Bye.